All right, hey there, boys and girls. Welcome back. We are on day number eight here of uh, December Daily Math. So let's begin. We're going to use less than, greater than, or equal to. And it says two hundreds versus nineteen tens. So two in the hundreds column. So two hundreds is simply two hundred. Nineteen tens. Well, there's nineteen. And to make it tens, like right now it's nineteen ones. To make it 19 tens, we're going to add a zero at the end. There we go. And I see 200 is greater than 190. Okay. Number two says round 745 to the nearest 10. So I'm going to use, uh, well, this ruler. Sounds great. And our number again is, I'm just going to write it up here, 700. 45. Okay, so the, the the important part for us right now is the 5, okay? So is the 5 closer to the 0, or is it closer to the 10? Can't even get it all on there. I have to go sideways. Ah! The 0 or the 10, okay? So if I start here at the 5 and I count back, um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's 5 to get back to the 0. Now let's go up to the 10, and I see... One, two, three, four, five. It also takes five to get to the ten. Hold on for a second. Refocus. It's getting blurry. Very, very blurry. And wham. All right. So it's the same exact amount, isn't it? Um, rulers, not just for measuring. So with that, we know that the five is right in the middle, so it's really either way, right? That's what I always thought. It's actually four or less, let it rest, five or more, raise the score. Okay, so if our number is 745, let's put a box around the tens column because it says to the nearest 10. Okay, so 745. So it's telling us one of our options, which is 740. Because we use that four. So 740, just fill the rest with a zero. The other, the other option is one more than four, which would be 750. Okay? Now, we go next door. We look next door. And I see that it is a five. So our sayings are four or less, we would let it rest. Okay? But this is five or more. It actually is five. So five or more, we raise the score. Okay, so our answer for this is 750. Five or more, raise the score. All right, number three. If 18 dog treats are shared equally by three dogs, how many treats does each dog get? All right, so we have three dogs. So there's dog one, dog two, and dog three. Hello, Mrs. Hello. Mayor. And we have 18 dog treats. So we have to split those 18 dog treats equally Okay, so let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. That's eighteen. They are equal. Okay, um, if eighteen dog treats are shared equally by three dogs, how many treats does each dog get? There's one, two, three, four, five is the slide, and one more is six. So they get six treats, right? I always like that how many, and you circle that next word. That's almost always our label. Six treats. Okay, number four. It's wear your pajamas day at school. I can't wait for that day. Wait till you see the jammies, right? Uh, which grade has the fewest students wearing pajamas? So um, number of students wearing pajamas. So kindergarten, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth grade, 73, 53, 49, 72, 64, 42. We want to know which grade has the fewest students. Um, well, the smallest number out of all of these, I see two in the 40s, 42 is a little bit less than 49. Fifth grade. Okay. Oh, that's a bummer. Fifth grade's usually fun. Come on, fifth graders. 
All right, number five says, who wore more pajamas, students in grades K1 and 2 or students in grades 3, 4, and 5? So we can go ahead and add these numbers up because K1 and 2 are right here and 3, 4, and 5 are right here. So let's go ahead and let's add those three up. So 3 and 3 is 6. 6 plus 9 is 15. Uh, let's see, I have a 1, a 5, and a 4, that's 10, because 1 plus 4 is 5, 5 plus 5 is 10, and 7 more is 17. So they have 175 in K12. Let's see, you have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I always like doing that. If it's 2, it's always 1 here, 1 there. So 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I just touch it like twice. Uh, here we go. 6 and 4 make a 10, right? And then again, a 7 is 17. All right, who wore more pajamas? Students in grades K1 and 2 or students in grades 3, 4, and 5? 3, 4, and 5. Or we could write students in grades 3, 4, and 5 wore more pajamas. All right, boys and girls, great job with that. Those are some tricky problems. Really, that's a lot of math on there. So great job today. Keep up the good work. We'll see you tomorrow.